Some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel, everybody. In today's video, we find ourselves in Savannah, Georgia, with a frauditor who doesn't seem to believe that trespassing laws apply to him. And he ends up getting trespassed and banned from a local private business. You know, I can understand the uh, frauditors who go after government uh, buildings, but when you're going after privately owned businesses open to the public, that's an entirely different story right there, And but still just as stupid. So let's go ahead and sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. On this good day, I decided to go into Circle K to talk to my friend so that I could make a complaint on his manager at this gas station right here. Well, didn't go as planned. Stay tuned. Oh, you in here? What? I gotta have my camera out, man. They, they, they called the police on me last time, man. I can't... I, I can't have it. You know what I'm saying? Oh, you can't have them calling uh, the police on you. Uh, well, then stop acting like a complete jackass, and maybe they won't call the police on you then. I got to cut my camera out, man, so people can see what's going on. She might be calling the police now. Meanwhile. Please, 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 and I'm um, going to get her banned, so, okay, but he think he was in the right, so he came in the store, he had a whole video camera, he got his phone with his video, with the um, video camera and everything on it, okay, because I guess he's trying to get me fired, he, he know he's talking about like that, so, I guess he's trying to get me fired, or whatever, that's how I was looking for everything happening, because he is that type of person, I'll have him, all right, what's old buddy wearing, all right, He's in the store, he's talking to Tracy. He's wearing a white t-shirt. His car is parked down there. He he's wearing what? His, white t-shirt? A white t-shirt. I don't know the bottom. He's, he got a video camera. He's talking to Tracy. Okay. I got you. Okay. 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 How you doing, boss? Why are you talking to me, sir, if you don't mind me asking? Because the store manager wants you banned, so we're trying to figure out what information and what's actually happening. So I'm talk sitting here talking to you while okay. he's talking to them, figuring okay. out everything is Is your body cam on, sir? Yes, it is. All right. Video and audio, right? Yes, it is. Okay. Thank you. Um, do you want me to step outside and can we have this conversation, or how do you want to have this conversation? We, we, we can wait here or wait and figure out what's going on with them. Okay. That's how I'm just like, that's what I'm doing right now. So yes, sir. I got you. I'm not going to go anywhere. So. If I'm going to be banned, she had to do the proper procedure and protocol. You're going to, right okay. you're going to ban me. Why? Why are you going to ban me? Do you want to be trespassed? Trespass? No. They do. People at the store do. What's your, oh, can you calm down? I understand everything you said. Can you calm down and can you relax? First of all, because I'm not going outside with you with that energy, sir. Can you please step outside? Would be the best way for you to ask me. Let's go outside. Sir, now you're giving me a command, but what yes. have I done? What have I done to break the law? Oh, oh boy, typical frauditor spiel. What crime have I committed? Uh, you need a crime to trespass me, blah, blah, blah. Uh, no, uh, if you're going to act like a c complete and total jackass, well, the owner of the property or the uh, administrator of the property has the total authority to have you removed from the property, even if you haven't committed a crime yet. It's kind of a pre preventative measure, you douche canoe. People store want you trespass. Call your supervisor. Call your supervisor right now. Call your supervisor, then I'll step outside the door, sir. I want to speak to your... You're going to go outside, or we're going to go outside. So now you're threatening me, sir. What did I do wrong? Let's go outside. Sir, call your supervisor. Why? Now you're pushing me. Now you're pushing me. Call your supervisor. Pushing me. Call your supervisor. Come on. Call your supervisor, sir. I will in a second. Call your supervisor. Call your supervisor. Oh, man. Lord have mercy. Boy, we about to have a good time with this. Call your supervisor, sir. Right now. Come over here and I will. Call your supervisor. I'm, I'm out of the store, so call your supervisor, sir. Now you, and you put your hands on me for no reason. 
We could have done We're this differently. This car. Come on. What are we going to the car for? Because I'm going to get your information. And you're going to okay. trespass from the store. He's right here. You you stop and escalate the situation. I was talking to him. We had no problem, sir. Come on. Go get the paperwork while he got me right here and get your supervisor. I'll get you that information. It's a way that you, you handle things, sir. Right plan, wrong man, okay? Gotcha. Can I have your ID, please? Yes, you can have my ID. All right, thank you. That's how you should have came to me about coming out the store, sir. Okay. It's a way that you do things. You are a public servant, sir. You work for the people. Sure do. All right? Public servant doesn't mean he's your damn slave. He is a law enforcement officer. If you break the law, he comes and collects you, and you have to uh, serve your time, make reparations, or whatever is needed to rectify the situation. Sure, it's a free country, but it is not exactly a consequence-free country. We do have laws, and privately owned businesses can kick you out if you cause trouble, which is exactly what you're doing right here. Now, get, now, now, can you grab my wallet? No, sir. You can grab it yourself. All right. Well, that's where my ID is. I'm not grab. I'm not reaching right. to grab my wallet. Thank you. Absolutely. Look at her ID. Purse. Yes. Here you go. Thank you, sir. Can I can I please speak with you? And can you please get a supervisor out here right now, please, sir? He's on the way. Okay. So I came into the store. I had a problem earlier this week. I did nothing. I went in the store, I always come to the store. It's one particular man. Sir, thank you. Okay, so I came into the store. I had a problem earlier this week. I did nothing. I went in the store, I always come to the store. It's one particular manager has a problem with me. I talked with the other guy that came out here. First and foremost, he was very rude and disrespectful. He went and talked to the plaintiff. The other guy, me and him, was already having a conversation. I'm letting him know what's going on, and I'm recording too. Now you say, get out the store. I say, why am I getting out of the store? Can you hold on and wait? Your whole delivery is coming me wrong and over aggressive, so right? So I'm, we we calm, we need to be on the same level. And you ask me, can I remove, we got the store. You're not even telling me what's going on. You're just telling me, get out the store. Then you put your hands on me and push me out the store. Talk about either you're going to come or we're going to push out. That's not how this works, bro. That's not how this works. You guys have a job to do and I have rights. Let me know why I'm being banned. I did nothing. I came in the store already recording. This is my right. So don't sit here and just tell me you bad. It's a process to ban it. I have to do something. You have to fill out the paperwork, but you don't tell me just come out the store, you're gonna just ban me. All right? It's a pro it's a policy and protocol that you have to follow to ban someone, bro. You don't just come in there and do what you just did. Then you put your hands on me. You push me out the store, bro. You put your hands on me, bro. Like I don't work like that, bro. For real, man. Y'all know who I am, bro. But you when you do this report, you'll see who I am, bro. If it was an audit right now, bro, you failed the audit and you got rank, bro. I if it were an audit, uh, dude, uh, audits from First Amendment auditors uh, are really meaningless. They don't really have much effect on the way of life in society. This particular Circle K is going to continue its operation no matter if it passes or fails a First Amendment audit by you freaking morons. I mean, their survival is more based upon the money that they acquire to maintain their financial stability within the area, providing goods and services to the citizens in return. So in other words, your so-called audit is quite meaningless. So is your pathetic little life. So in order to get yourself a bit more meaning in your life, why don't you try actually getting a job that, well, helps people, supports people, or creates something, not be a complete anchor on uh, society as a whole. How can you hold somebody else accountable when look at what you just did to me, not even knowing who I am? Did I come rude? I disrespectful to you? When you take his body count, me and him was having a conversation, bro. And he asked you to step outside, and you didn't. And I asked him why. What is his reason why, sir? I can answer that question. It does matter. The management does wants matter. you out. That's it. Management was outside when I walked up, so how can management call you and I'm dealing with somebody now? And I have it all on video. You never asked to see my video. What happened or none of that, sir? You're dead wrong. I want you to know you dead wrong. And sir. Chief Harley would know about this, sir. Chief Harley. I'm not talking about no Chief Harley would know about this, sir. Okay. That's dead wrong. Give me a supervisor right now, bro. They're coming. I want a supervisor right now. They're on the way. They're coming. They're coming. So, the ban process or criminal trespass process for us is our complaint advised they want someone banned from the store. 
We simply fill out that form and hold on. I let you speak. Just let me finish the statement, okay? They they take your information. They fill out the demand form. They advise you that if you you return to the premises, you will be arrested for criminal trespass. Now, with that being said, whatever reason they determine that they no longer want you on this property, it doesn't have to be immediately said. Okay? They can ban you for whatever reason, being that this is a private establishment. Okay? So that's where we're at. When the officer asks you to leave or asks you to step outside and you refuse to do that, they can use reasonable force and escort you outside. I understand from your perspective, it came out very immediate, aggressive, Most things definitely. like that, and that that's understandable. That's your perspective of it. So the supervisor will be in route. They will look into this incident and go from there. So that in sense, that's where we're at. We got a call saying it was from management saying that they wanted a party ban from this premises. Okay. Okay. <laughs> And of course, the fraudster stops the video before any supervisor shows up, which makes me suspect that when he, the supervisor showed up, that he was not exactly on the fraudster's side to begin with, which is quite typical. You don't want the supervisor called anyway, because generally they're going to not rule in your favor if you, especially if you are getting trespassed or it's a a uh, sovereign citizen traffic stop. I mean, that never goes well for a sovereign citizen. So at any rate, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, and I will see you on the next one. Dude, so there's no way I can get in, bro? Come on, I'll put you on my YouTube. But shut up, Wesley. You gotta put signs up, ma'am, if it's- Are you Glenn Serio? Who's that?